like this. Okay. Um, give me, uh, give me, uh, uh, what's the name real quick? Uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter, no, not Wisdom of Solomon. Yeah, Wisdom of Solomon chapter, chapter 13. Um, give me verse 3. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13. And you can go back in your notes and read this. Read Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13, verse 1 through 3. Put that in your notes. But actually, we're going to just jump right into verse number 2. All right, go ahead, read that. Come. Wisdom of Solomon 13, 2. But gave either fire or wind or the swift air. All right, now the next word. Read the next two words. Or. Or the circle. All right, stop. Uh, or what? Or the, I'm sorry, or the circle. Now the circle, now what I just did is I made a circle. Circle of what? Of the stars. Circle of the stars, talking about the 12 constellations that are around the planet Earth. This is what he's talking about in Genesis 1.14. In Genesis 1.14, when he says the circle, when he says he made them for signs, seasons, days, and years, since time immemorial, man has always tried to use the, what they call a zodiac. Which zodiac does not mean animals. Zodiac comes from a different Greek word that means path. Okay? It means path. So man has always tried to use these things to see what's going to happen and tell different events, but that's not what, that wasn't the primary purpose that Yahweh put them for. You know, a lot of that stuff being corrupted right now anyway. Okay? So now these, these are 12 constellations. Okay, uh, what he put up there for us to use the signs and for seasons, for days, and for years. That's why, if you, let me tell you what's going to happen now. Dig this. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What's wrong with that picture? I'm, I'm one off. So now when one, when one comes, I'm going to be keeping Passover in the 12th month. And I'm going to, you know, so I'm going to have then again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Now dig this. This was going to happen. It happens cyclically. It's a cycle. I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because this is going to happen again. Meaning that I'm going to have two months in one constellation. So if I'm only looking at the moon, now I got, I'm on the fifth month, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now I'm keeping Passover in the eleventh month. Everybody with me? That's why you have to look at the constellations in addition to the new moons. Because the new moon, the new moon is what? You got two types of, uh, what are you doing? Um, you got two types of um, motion, I think. Generally speaking, you got static and dynamic, right? Well, you know, you got, I don't know if it's two types of motion only, but yeah, static and dynamic. Static, all right, is always the same. Always the same. It's predictable, it's reliable. Then you got dynamic. Dynamic is, has a lot of variance in it, does. It has variations. So that's dynamic. Everybody with me? This right here. The constellations is static. It does not ever change. It's always the same cycle, same motion. It's always there. It's the fix. It's the hours of the clock, like I described uh, last month. The constellations are the hours on the clock. All right? They stay the same. They never change. The sun is like the hour hand. It's going to tell you where you are in time at that particular point. Now, you know, somebody say, oh, it's 3 o'clock. You might not know if it's 3.15 or 3.40, but if it's 3 a.m., you know, oh, man, it's late. I'm just be chilling. Let's go to bed. If it's 3 p.m., oh, man, I'm active. I'm out there moving around. All right? So now the, the, uh, the moon is like the, the minute hand that travels around. Okay? It travels around. And when it links up with the sun, then... That's another hour start, which is another month start. You got me? Except sometimes 
the clock had moved, the, the, the minute hand had moved so fast that from going from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, it might be moving so fast that it gets two new months. And get her and just take her to the back. Her. That's the one that's making the noise, right? Yeah. So who, who you think I'm talking about? All right, so, so that's the one. So if you keep counting like that, what's going to happen is that, you understand, you're going to be keeping Passover and keeping all your holidays on the wrong day. So what a lot of brothers do, they like to look at the observatories and say, oh, well, we got two new moons in the month of June. So that means we're going to have an extra month. All right, an extra month. But that's not a consistent way of, 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 of telling us. Because Yahweh don't tell us to use the solar calendar to tell us, you know, when we're going to have another month. He told us to use what? The constellation for signs and seasons, days, and, for signs, seasons, days, and years. Right? So this, is, this is the circle of the stars that Solomon is talking about. The wisest man that lived. This is what Solomon is talking about. So you're looking at one of the, you're looking at one of the models that Solomon is probably responsible for mastering. Because if you look at the same wisdom of Solomon, go two chapters, go uh, six chapters over wisdom of Solomon chapter seven. Let's look at verse, um, let's start from verse 17, 18, and 19. So you can write that in your notes too. Wisdom of Solomon chapter seven, verse 17, 18 and 19. You should read that for you. You should read Shabbat Shabbat now. Yeah, Okay. I'm going to wisdom of Solomon 7, verse 17. You need help back there? Chapter 7, verse 17 through 19. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, 17 through 19. For he hath given me certain knowledge of the things that are, namely, to know how the world was made. So Solomon knew about the whole hydrogen and helium. He knew, he knew this back then. He knew the science of creation. Creation is a science. Once you once we look at Genesis, that's the key to understanding a whole bunch of other stuff. Right. I got it. And the operation of the elements. He knew how the elements operated, all right? The, all the different things that Yahweh have created. Not just, you know, when you talk about like earth, wind, and fire, um, you also deal with uh, earth, wind, fire, and water. And then you have um, you have earth, air, fire, water, and then you have um, what they call they they actually assign plasma as a as a um, what, like have the as an element as like but it's not since it's not solid it's kind of like it's more like an energy it's more like an energy but it's not a gas you know what I'm saying right. because it creates energy from the gases and from the molecules breaking off or combining together all right but in in this gas or wind and air when you say air you're not talking about just oxygen or carbon dioxide, which is what you know we breathe out. You know, you're talking about everything that consists around us in the element world, also. All right, you're talking about breaking down what water is made out of, different forms of, of liquids, different solid forms, different forms of gases. So Solomon knew all these things. Solomon was a was a, you know Yahweh blessed him with that wisdom. The wisdom was the key to understanding everything else. All right, read, please. 18. The beginning, ending, and the midst of the time. So Solomon saw all things. 